Hi guys, welcome back. I'm at Target and I just made that return of Nate's shoes. So naturally I'm walking around, you know, Nate Kleenex. spaghetti tonight. What do you think? Nate didn't love these. You guys remember we did a taste test? I think they're okay, but they're not the best. Um, these are pretty good though. Those are good. I haven't tried their chicken tenders. I'm gonna get them for the kiddo to try. Now, I don't believe they sell the Impossible Nuggets here, but they have the Impossible, like, meat. Um, here's that Tattooed Chef brand. Again, all of it is, like, vegetarian or vegan, but not all vegan. So, just got to be careful. But that is that burrito bowl. Oh, so good. Now, a lot of the times these like meal kits are actually plant, yeah, plant-based ones. Isn't that cool? I love that, I love to see that. That's awesome. Ah, uh, bread, you can smell it through the mask. This one, delicious. I've never tried this. yesterday to take by Kohl's. Um, but yeah, if you didn't know, I've mentioned this before. Oh gosh, this looks like a nightmare to get out of. Um, okay, that'll be fun. Do we want to go a different way? I think we do. Let's do that. Okay. Um, if you did not know, uh, Kohl's and Whole Foods have partnered with Amazon and you can do returns there now. So that's an option for dropping off returns which is cool but I did not grab the stuff this time hey eh, suckers you gotta go this way I'm learning oh yeah oh we're good got a little fast whip you got this I love all the mountains here that is something that I feel like Vegas does not get the best like it's known for the crazy city life you know but really it's just surrounded in mountains it's so cool I love that maybe we can chat for a little bit um, but yeah so I just got a few things at Target and I'll show you when I get home but yeah I returned actually the two shirts too that I got for Nate um, they fit he they were fine but he wasn't like crazy about them I'm like whatever so took those back took the shoes back and basically it was an even swap then <laughs> with what I spent pretty much but yeah I got that pasta to try I can't believe I haven't tried that before it's vegan friendly too that spaghetti and then um that meat I'm sure it's like the rest of them but you never know I should be careful saying that but we'll see thought I could try that out and we'll have an easy dinner tonight 
love that. By the way, I think this will go up on Friday. Where would you like to see a haul from? For Monday I'm still gonna keep that routine for you guys uh, and do like hauls on Monday but let me know where would you like to see we've got Trader Joe's we've got Sprouts we've got Whole Foods we've got Smith's Albertsons that's about it ish <laughs> anyway got a workout in this morning and it was a good one it was there's some construction, so it's a little backed up, but you know what? I'm not in a big hurry, so that is okay. I love our Whole Foods. I mean, there's multiple here, but the one that's, you know, near to us, uh, I love it. It's massive. It is such a big Whole Foods. It even has, like, a full-on bar. <laughs> I'm like, what? I didn't know that. Like, our one before never had that, so that's new. Um, but yeah, it's like, it's huge. It really is. The food bar, like area two is, is I'm driving by it. So that's why it made me think of it, but a huge area two. Now I don't think it's like completely back in full, full service. But most of it is, I think just due to like still some of the regulations and stuff, but, uh, there it's huge. It is. It's good. That's where I got that vegan pizza too. Most Whole Foods have it anyway, but yeah, it's, it's just a big one. It's cool. And then there is also a shopping area that is pretty close to us, too. It's near the airport or the strip even, but it's, uh, what's it called? Town Square, I think. It's a cool area. That's cool. I'm going to lunch with, sorry, my aunt tomorrow where we got the Bowflex from. Um, I wanted to take her to lunch as a thank you. And I think we're going to go, I'm not 100% sure, but I have an idea of where we're going to go. It was one of the first restaurants we went to actually when we moved here. Oh gosh, I can't remember the name now, but it's like in Henderson. It's a Mexican food restaurant. Restaurant, my my, I can't, I can't. I'll put it here. And if we end up doing that, I feel like this is tilted. Um, I'll show you what we have. But the cool part is, is it's like this massive menu, but there is a vegan section, which is cool. And I know she had mentioned that she really liked that restaurant before. And anyway, she said she picked me up and uh, we'd go to this Mexican restaurant near, not too far. And I'm like, I'm thinking it's that one. We'll see. That'll be tomorrow. And it's like, that's fine. I don't want to go. I'm like, good, because you ate. It's a girl's date. <laughs> we are officially on Baby Watch. Uh, I had shared even a photo quickly. You might have caught it um, on our Thanksgiving vlog that we shared. And uh, my cousin, I'm just going to say my cousin, but I guess it's my cousin-in-law. Is that a thing? Uh, <laughs> my cousin is the guy and his wife is pregnant, but I still call her my cousin too. I love her. And uh, anytime, anytime she is due, another baby boy in the family too. To come so I'm ready I am it's a little hard right now with all the restrictions still uh, you know no one can really go to the hospital and stuff I know it's different everywhere but for us here we can't and I told her I'm like listen I do remember although it's been 11 years I do remember you know ago <laughs> that when you get home as much as people want to come and see you and see the baby and stuff like you're so first time mom you know uh very overwhelmed and as much as you want help you also want to be left alone and as much as you want to be left alone you want someone nearby point is i'm like as much as selfishly i would like to be there as soon as as possible i can also completely understand and whenever is fine too so anyway um but yeah we are officially on like the countdown watch now it should be any time so that's cool glad we are here for that now you know anyway but yeah my aunt that i referred to is it's her son my cousin um my aunt is my mom's sister so that was cool moving here again I'd always mentioned to you guys that I've come to Vegas so much growing up and it was to visit them and so as much as this was still a huge move for us it wasn't super scary because it's still it's familiar to me even though of course never lived here uh, it was just kind of that comfort of I've been here many times you know so anyway it's cool that we're able to get together more than just like once a year you know <laughs> anyway 
I will show you what I got once we get back. All right, so let me show you what I got. It's not a ton, but I will share with you guys when we make the spaghetti tonight what we think of this Good and Gather plant-based meatless ground made with pea protein. I'm going to assume it kind of looks like the... Um, Meatless Farm Company, I think it's called. I really like it. I remember that brand has kind of a sweetness to it almost, uh, but it's, I like it. But it kind of like looks like that one to me. And so I'm wondering if it'll taste similar. Anyway, I'm gonna try that out tonight, kind of ground it up and put it like into the sauce, like a meat sauce for the spaghetti. We will see. Looks good, so got that. Oh, by the way, you may have noticed I've been doing my nails recently and I'm gonna share it with you what I've been using, but I just took them off today and I like to let them breathe like a day or two. Do anyone else do that when you use gels? Uh, I just give them a minute, you know? Just let them breathe. <laughs> but I'll show you soon in the next few days when I redo them what I've been doing. I've been doing it myself. <laughs> Anyway, I got the spaghetti here, the, again, the Barilla Protein Plus. It is vegan, and I've just never tried this before, so we're gonna try that out. And then their pasta sauces in this brand, so, so good. A little pricey, but really, really good. And the ingredients list is really minimal. It's just, it's really good. So I recommend this brand for sure, but I got that. This is gonna be easy dinner. And then I just saw these, and I thought for when my parents are in town and stuff uh, later this month, which I'll keep you like kind of posted we don't have a ton of plans like set in stone although my mom is going to fly in later this month alone to pick up my kiddo and bring him back it'll be his first time back at their place um when he's like on winter break and stuff just for a little bit and then they'll come back again for actual christmas anyway uh that's gonna all be happening later this month but they will be here and i thought these were cute they're just little plastic cups but they're Mary. So there it is. It says Mary Bright Joy. I got them. Have those ready to go. And then I also repurchased, you guys remember I got these maybe like, I don't know, a couple months ago, made from plants by Matter. Yeah, that was the brand. Matter. 50 straws. And they even say on here extra sturdy. And I agree. I like these. I recently got some from Whole Foods. I do not like them. They're like the papery ones. And then they fall apart. No. These are good. These are actually good ones. So I got some more of those. And then we got the Good and Gather plant-based meatless chicken tenders. I have not tried these before, but I'll see if the kiddo likes them. If not, I'm sure Nate will, but we'll try those out. They look like the Gardein ones, so we'll see. And then not everything is glamorous, my friends. I needed one of these. The tub slash shower upstairs, ours, is showing signs of Kim's hair. And then if you know, you know, every season, Mrs. Myers comes out with different scents for like fall and for winter. I got the Iowa pine scent. And I think I've had this before. Like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, like in the past, it's gonna smell like a Christmas tree. By the way, our backyard kind of came with a built-in Christmas tree. We got lights, Ew, it's like leaking. Anyway, it smells good. I'll get to that later. But <laughs> um, we got lights to do in the backyard for our Christmas tree. We have a pine tree back there. And it looks like a Christmas tree. Saw an opportunity. <laughs> we'll get to it. Anyway, I also got two more things of cooling Kleenex. They were on sale. I go through these. I have them in every room. I don't really have allergies and I rarely get sick. Knock on all things. But sometimes in the morning, just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and then this is new to me. It's from Quiet and Roar. Never heard of it before, but I saw it in the body washes and I'm a sucker for body washes. I kind of have a lot, but every day you gotta change it up. But I love to try new ones when they're cruelty-free ones too. And again, this is by Quiet and Roar, a body wash, and it was lemon blossom and mint scent. And it smelled really, really good. I like the directions. It says, you know what to do. They keep it simple, but we'll try it. Now they did have a few more like uh, scents in this brand. I like this. It's a little unique, like lemon and mint together for like a body wash. May not be like the most popular, but I don't know, I kind of liked it. It's different, but they had like a banana one. And as much as I like banana, I was not digging that scent at all. Uh, we'll see. Then they had one that was like mint and spirulina. I'm like, hmm. 
know. Anyway, okay, that was it from Target. So I will share with you guys when I make the spaghetti and we'll taste it and see what we think of that meat. Anyway. All right, pasta is almost done. And both Nate and I said it smells like, um, not so much now, but the Beyond Meat, right? Mm -hmm. Not impossible meat, but the Beyond Meat. And you know that smell. It's a distinct smell. And it's not bad, but it's not good when it's raw. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't smell appetizing. And it's one of those weird ones because you would think then, obviously, then it wouldn't taste very good if it doesn't smell great at first. But it's one of those that, like, it still has its, you know, distinct flavor, but it's good. We think, anyway. We mm -hmm. don't get Beyond Meat too much anymore mm -hmm. because we like Impossible Meat more, but it's not bad. And then I just did some onion garlic. That is it when I ground up the meat, and that's all. Added the pasta sauce and cooked up the noodles. Yeah. Done and done. Easy, easy. You can put it in the bowls with greens. I just kind of do that. That's you. Can I have a step of bowl? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'll put your <laughs> on top of it, but I'm going to wilty-ass lettuce. Wilty lettuce. And then I'm going to put some of this uh, Trader Joe's parm cheese. And then I like hemp seeds, you guys know. I put it on everything. But can I have my own bowl? You'll be fine. No, I want my own bowl. You splattered it all loosey-goosey. How am I supposed to get a good picture? Well. <laughs> hmm. This is what the sheaves do, yes? <laughs> the sheaves. In the France. In the France. The greens the bowl for presentation. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, yes, wee oui, wee. Oui. Uh -huh. You're wonderful. Yeah. It's an Italian else. dish. It's not French, by the way. It's completely accent. <laughs> we got that all wrong. But can I be a grown-up and have my separate? No. There we go. Been on this kick with these green olives. They're super salty, though, so like one or two is like enough. I had three last night, or I put three on my thing, and I couldn't do it. <laughs> we'll try it for you guys, though, but that looks really, really good, right? All right, let's try it. Try the meat, specifically. Okay. I think, in, does it taste like Beyond Meat to you, or is it different? Mm -hmm. It tastes like Beyond Meat? It's Beyond Meat. But with more of the Beyond Meat flavor, which I would say is not the part I love the most about Beyond Meat, but the texturing is quite good on it. It totally tastes the same, it does. It's good, but like, we've just become such big fans of Impossible Meat now that we mm -hmm. would just pick that over it. But if you like Beyond Meat, you'll love it. Yes. You will, I'm totally good with it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely that, huh? Uh-huh. Mmm, the pasta's good, tastes normal, tastes totally regular to me. Yeah, you said there was something weird about this one, right? Or different? It's wheat. Okay. Um, but it also has like lentil and chickpea, I think, in it to add more protein to it. I'm good with that then. Because Nate doesn't like like Banza pasta. He just It's just not his thing, like true chickpea pasta. I like it. You like edamame pasta though. That's an alternative you do really I like. I like edamame pasta with the Thai sauce specifically, not mm -hmm. necessarily spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. Glad you like it. Yes, thank you for making me dinner. You're welcome. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.